Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. Today I'll be demonstrating how to repair damaged or corrupted videos in Windows and Mac PCs. Now, if you shoot a lot of videos, you likely have come across such situations where certain video clips for some reasons won't open using regular video applications. A typical case study was the situation I had last weekend. I was filming a pyrography painting with my friend Justice, who recently launched his channel, Pajust, to showcase his artworks. I will leave a link to his channel down in the video description. Do subscribe and follow him on social media as he's got lots and lots of amazing artworks coming up. Now obviously we needed to use multiple cameras to capture from different angles. After collecting all the video clips, we realized that some clips could not open no matter what video application we tried to use. With VLC, you just have this yellow line moving back and forth trying to load the video file but never loads up. With Windows Media Player, it immediately pops out this error message saying Windows Media Player cannot play the file. Same also happened when we tried to load the files to Premiere Pro. Now there are several possible reasons why you might be having this error. It could be that the micro SD card in the camera couldn't support the recording speed of the camera, talking about the read write speed. So the video file ends up being corrupted or the camera ran out of power during the recording and so the clip gets terminated abruptly. For the case with mobile phones, if on the process of recording your video a call comes through, then it's likely that your recording gets terminated abruptly except you've previously made some settings or used some additional tools to prevent that from happening. Under such situations, the video clip will likely get damaged or corrupted and hence can't open with regular video applications. Such situations can be really, really frustrating on the least and devastating in some cases, especially in cases like the pyrography painting where it's almost impossible to redo the recording. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how to repair or recover damaged video files in such situations. But before we proceed, if you haven't subscribed yet, do take a moment to hit the subscribe button and turn on notification to keep up with our future posts. This would also be a good way to support the channel. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so for this process, we'll be using the Stellar Video Repair tool. Now, this is a very valuable tool to have if you make video contents or some other important video recordings. Previously, I made a review of the Stellar Data Recovery tool, an award-winning tool for recovering deleted files and data even after formatting your drive. I will also leave a link to the review down in the video description. Now, in case you already deleted such damaged video files, then that could be the tool to start with. Now the video repair tool is equally as reliable, capable of supporting just about any video format you might have, coupled with all these other incredible features including support for 4K resolution video files. Installing the video repair tool is quite typical and straightforward. By clicking on the link in the description, it should take you to this page. Here first select the platform where you intend to run the repair tool, whether Windows or Mac. Then click on the free download button to start the download process. It's about 25 megabytes in size, so it should download pretty quickly. After downloading, run by double clicking. Hit yes on the user account control. Here select your preferred language and hit OK. Then hit next. Accept the license terms and hit next. Next. Next again, here you can choose to create a desktop icon, then hit next, install. And then hit finish to complete the process. Now if prompted with a user account control pop up, just hit yes on it. And then you should have a window like this pop up. This is really neat and easy to use no complex options and all that. So here just click on this add file icon in the middle and then move to the location where you have the corrupted or damaged video files. Double click to load the files. Then here with the files selected, hit this repair button at the right end corner to begin the repair process. Now as soon as it begins the repair process, a folder named repaired is created in the same location where you have the corrupted or damaged video files. Obviously this is where the repaired files will be saved. Here I must say that this is one of the most simplified Windows applications I've used. No complex options, no complex commands, you have damaged or corrupted video files and all you want is to repair them. And this application does exactly that without much hassle. Now here it shows you the progress of the entire repair process. 
And talking about the time needed for such repair, it's important to mention that this is a form of re-encoding process. So the time needed for such repair will depend on the size of the video files and the nature of the damage and of course the processing power of your PC. Here I'm using an i7 quad-core processor and 12GB of DDR3 memories. With more or less powerful PC, you can expect corresponding adjustment in the time required to complete the process. Afterwards, you should have this little pop-up saying repair process completed. And now if you go to the folder named repaired, you should have the repaired video files now able to open with your regular video applications like VLC and Windows Media Player. It's really that simple. Now with the free version of this application or the demo version as they call it, you are able to see only 20% preview clip of the repaired video files, not the full videos. As you can see here with a 4GB video file, I'm able to recover less than 1GB of the clip. So for a full recovery, you will need a full version of the application. To that, Stellar Data Recovery has made provisions to allow me offer you the viewers a time-limited 10% discount on the video repair tool and any of their products you will find in the video description. The coupon code will also be in the description, so if you still see the coupon code there, it means that the 10% discount is still ongoing. So by clicking on the links next to any of the products in the description, you should have a page like this. Here when you click on the buy now button, it should take you to this page where you can choose your preferred version. And then on this page, you can select the I have a discount coupon option and then enter the coupon code in the video description. Click on the refresh icon and it should immediately offer you a 10% discount. From here, you can enter your billing information and proceed to the payment. Afterwards, you should have your license key sent to your email. To activate, simply open the application and click on this activate icon on the top menu. Enter your activation key and hit activate. And then you should have access to the full features of the application. Now with the full version, in addition to being able to repair any length of damaged videos for nearly all video formats, it also offers you this advanced repair option for severely damaged videos. With such videos, when you click on the advanced repair option, it pops up this advanced repair dialog box, here hit next, and then it asks you to add a sample video. Here you should locate a video of similar format and features, which is basically some other video clip from the same recording device. So here I will just select another video file from the same camera folder. Select apply to all files of the same format and then hit repair. Now this does not affect any of the video clips involved. It will only use the formats and characteristics of the selected video to recreate the damaged or corrupted one. And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications for future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.